Tonight, Governor Scott setting the dates for the special election to replace Republican Trey Radel, who resigned from Congress after his cocaine conviction. Radel's term was up this year anyway, so this means voters in Lee and Collier counties will be voting just about every other month through November, and I'm showing you why. The special election primary in which Republican and Democratic voters each choose their candidate is in less than three months, April 22nd. Then just two months later, all voters choose who gets the seat in the special general election on the 24th. Just two months after that, another primary on August 26th in which both parties again choose as the seat comes up for re-election. And just a little over two months after that, all registered voters choose again on November 4th naming who will represent them in the U.S. House of Representatives for a two-year term. The special election will cost about $750,000 of your tax dollars in Collier County and up to a million dollars in Lee County. To vote in the special election primary, you have to be registered by March 24th, and you can get started on that right now when you click on the Big Red 4 on fox4now.com. And with four elections coming up in just eight months, all for the same congressional seat, you can expect to see nonstop political ads trying to influence your vote. Four in your corners, Warren Wright explains. Lizbeth Benakisto, a typical politician, talks. Attack ads like this one are already coming at you from political action committees who want to affect your vote. And political analysts say this is only the beginning. You can count on it being adversarial, you can count on it being. No holds bar as far as the amount of money that gets spent. And you can count on it being that this is going to be funded by people well outside of the state of Florida. Outside Florida? Yes. Just as Trey Radel received money from outside Florida when he ran, many of the candidates who want his old job will do the same. Can you hazard a guess as to how much money you think might be spent between the politicians and the PACs? For the special election? We're talking t um, tens of millions at least. Tens of millions? Oh, at least. At least. Historically, industries like Big Sugar spend to make sure the winning candidate doesn't vote against their interests. But what about your interests? They're not going to care about whether we have problems with the Caloosahatchee and the runoff from uh, the reservoir or our economy down here or our agricultural issues. And she says if one of the candidates running in this special election doesn't win big, special interests will be ready to spend again when the seat is up for re-election a few months later. We could have somebody win by a very narrow margin in the special elections and then in the November elections we could see them come back again and go at it again. Warren Wright, Fox 4, in your corner. The winner of the Republican primary will likely face Democrat April Freeman in the general election.